what if? A lot of times I'll be in a 200 mile run or something like that, and I'm all jacked up. Body's broken, mind's broken, spirit's broken. I start to say, what if I can pull this off? It's the what if I can pull off a fucking miracle. What if I can become someone that no one thinks I can be? It doesn't get much tougher than this race. 135 miles through a stretch of the Mojave, considered the hottest place on Earth. I made the commitment at a point when it hurt so bad. Look, you're either going to get to the finish line or they're taking you out of here on an ambulance. That was my commitment. Like, you're not going to stop until you fall over. That's a pretty big commitment. I mean, think about it. You're committing to, I'm either going to pass out or worse, or I'm going to make it to the finish line. And I went through hell to get there. Yeah. I, I choose to keep going forward, but you get to a spot in that race where you don't know what to do. And that's when you find out what you're made of. Temperatures are averaging about 120 degrees plus in Death Valley. So why would anyone want to run in that heat? It's the exploration. It's, uh, it's you versus you. It's a confrontation with self, seeing how far I can go, testing, pushing the limits of human endurance. That's just what I love. I was building a warrior mentality by putting myself in the crucible of hell at mile 60 of a 135 mile race in Bedwater. What are you thinking? Blisters, shin splints, stretch fractures, pee and blood maybe. What are you gonna do now, David? How are you gonna get the next 70 miles of this race? Well, that's when you find out who you are. Exactly. You know, it's like everything builds to that moment. It's all about that moment and that decision that you have to make when everything else is stripped away from you. Right. That's gonna reveal to you who you are. Exactly and, who you and are. what your character is. The first time I heard about running 100 miles, I thought no human is capable of doing this. And when you do it yourself, I think it just breaks boundaries. We're thinking about the future, or we're you know, checking our Twitter feed, or you know, we're getting texts, or we're reflecting on the past. Uh, but when you're in these conquests like that, you don't think about anything except being the best that you can be in that instant of time. So I just say to myself, take your next footstep to the best of your ability. What, what keeps a person in the fight is knowing it's having purpose. Having purpose. Leave the ego at the door because the ego will kill you every time. You will always quit. So that's why I was, I've was i been able to get through things because I know I was a scared, uneducated kid who stuttered and had zero. And I had to look at myself in the mirror and hold myself accountable for who I wasn't and who I wanted to be. Mm -hmm. Running is more of a mental challenge than a physical one, especially those greater distances, because at a point your body is destroyed and you have to override that feeling that you want to stop, um, that all systems are saying you're done, you can't keep going. And you have to have the discipline and the mental power to say, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to have the resolve. And you learn a lot about yourself when you do this. I had this vision of if I can make it to where I want to go, Imagine when I look back on my damn life, how proud I will be. And my journey was to see how far can I go? I came from nothing. I had nothing. I had nothing, no great mentality, no great family, no great education, no great, you know, I have sickle cell. You know, I have a hole in my heart the size of a poker chip, I had two heart surgeries, I had nothing. And my journey was to see what I was capable of. So it wasn't like being a masochist, nothing like that. It was the fact that I wanted to see who the best me was. And I wasn't willing to settle for stopping at 70 miles. There's been points where the tip of my nose radiates pain. Every cell in my body is screaming. My ears are radiating pain to, to stop. How are you going to get beyond this? You know, you, you've been here before. What are you going to do? Where does your mind go? What are you going to do to keep going? Can I, can I be the master of my mind? Can I get through this pain? When you're in that much pain, I'm sorry, you're not thinking about raising money for a foundation. Right. I'm sorry, I, I'm, I'm human. I had to go dark. And going dark was I had to go to that straight, barbaric, granimal mindset of like, as bad as I was suffering, the suffering, I had to make it work to my advantage. I had to enjoy, I had to embrace the suffering. I had to really 
See, man, I'm, now I'm at mile 70. I've never gone 70 miles before. What if? I became obsessed. I became obsessed with being the baddest motherfucker that God ever created. Am I that? I don't care. I believe it. And I was trying to tell him, once you become obsessed with something, obsessed, it's okay to be unbalanced for a while. It's okay. Don't be, all this stuff people say, you got to be balanced. To be the best in the world at what you do, the best at what you do, you have to be unbalanced to find every bit of fucking energy and strength that you have to pull it off. Then you get balanced once you become great. Become obsessed with being great. It changes everything.